Hey guys, Sugar Daddy Shaves here, and I don't do a lot of unboxing. I get a lot of stuff in, or at least I have the last uh, several years, and uh, and I haven't really done a lot of unboxing. But I do want to do some when it's something very different, or maybe strange to a lot of viewers, or you know something like that. And today is is that way. This is my first order from Uomo Brush. AliExpress.com, Uomo Brush has a store. I'm assuming that I'm saying the name right, Uomo Brush maybe. Um, we'll just say Uomo Brush. And they make knots, and they, I believe, are pretty much the OEM knot for a lot of different makers. And right now, the COVID epidemic is going on, and this took a little over a month to get to me from China. But, I mean, that's not too bad because the pricing is excellent. And if, I mean, as long as you don't need a brush right now, and many of us already have at least one, then just, you know, be patient and wait. And the price is right. So, to tell you that I ordered two knots. And one was a super high density Manchuria finest two band badger brush. And the other one was a mother load synthetic. So we'll talk more later when we see them. And like I said, about a month and a week is what it seemed like it took to get here according to my dates. All right, this box came in a bubble wrap, taped up thing, and then it had a paper label stuck on it. And so it was not, the, the cardboard was not the exterior material. Uh, it got here just fine, got here very safely. The box, as you can see, is not crushed or anything like that. So that was a success, a little strange, but a success. The box does not have any kind of filling or packing material in it. It did not. And I don't really think it's warranted because when the box is shut, those brushes really aren't, <clears throat> excuse me, aren't going anywhere. Even if they moved a little bit, I mean, who cares about these little boxes and whether they get scuffed up? All right, so uh, if you want to order a brush knot from Uomo, try out some of their different stuff. They have one called the HT, I believe it is. Uh, and that's the same one that, or HW, H, I can't remember. You can look up it on Reddit. Uh, we had a conversation that said that uh, where we discussed how Maggard razors shd is the same as the whatever it is i'm not remembering correctly and so that's why i ordered the manchuria finest because i wanted a Uomo brush but i've already got two maggard shds a fan and a bulb and i didn't i don't like to repeat my brush knots i mean i don't need that so uh, i'm having great enjoyment from elite razors uh high mountain white and I think a Manchurian. And so I thought, oh, let's get the Manchurian. So let's see. This is what they, what the brush knots come in. And then you can glue them into your own handles. You can get cheap handles from places like Whip Dog, Shave Forge, AliExpress, of course. Uomo has some handles. Um, or you may buy a custom handle from a, uh, a vendor on Etsy or, you know, any of those guys. And so this is how it'll come. Notice there's no labeling other than this, this uh, sticker that is their brand that keeps the box shut. Obviously, I had to cut that open so that I could uh, show you the knots now. And so there's, uh, there's no demarcation. So obviously, these knots are not uh, stored in these containers in the factory, probably, unless they're in a big bin. Now, this one is the mother load. You can see kind of the brown coloring. And it is a, a big knot. This is just a 24 millimeter knot, but it's very widespread. It's ultra soft. And that's why I got it. I don't like synthetics because all the synthetics I've found so far, just about all of them, just push my skin around. And when they're fine when I'm doing uh, circular strokes sometimes, uh, but then when I go down one way and I have to come back up, see, even this, when dry, pushes on my skin like that. Now, will it do that when it's wet and full of lather? We shall see. 
but this is just a 24 millimeter knot and it looks huge it looks very big the the backbone does feel less than uh, most of the other knots now i heard somebody say that this was a different whole different type of synthetic knot because these fibers are made for actual cosmetic brushes now i don't i mean maybe that's true but this really does look like a lot of the other synthetics not knots that you might see like tuxedo and stuff but this is definitely softer than tuxedo this is a this is a thick knot with lots and lots of bristles in it it's a very dense knot so it does have the white tips and then the brown is the main uh, color of the shaft and so it's a very inexpensive knot and i figure i'd try it out and i was looking through and i believe i picked this is a handle from DS Cosmetic available on AliExpress that I've had for a year or two. Um, a, uh, I love the ergonomics of this handle, highly recommend it. You can get this shape and similar color from Shave Forge and they have, I'm almost certain, ordered theirs from you know AliExpress or whoever AliExpress gets theirs from. And, and so you're getting the same thing, it's just that uh, you won't have the DS Cosmetics logo on the bottom of it through Shave Forge. You'll pay a little bit more for it with Shave Forge, but as far as I know, they're in America, so maybe you'll get it quicker. So you're paying for convenience and speed. And I, I didn't really have, I don't really go for the brown coloring. And so finding a handle that matches, you know, this brown coloring, I, I don't really, can't really do that. And so this blue one's got some other colors in it. And so it'll just have to do. It's very ergonomic. And also because I mount my knots with silicone, you can just pull it out and put it in another handle if another one ever comes by that looks nicer. So that's a nice thing about silicone. So I, it looks like this is shallow enough to where I believe I'm not going to need any spacers. I will uh, bind this up with a rubber band like this and then put some silicone inside there and stick them together. And it's pretty simple. I do have a video online about how to, uh, how to knot a brush and I'll try to link to that in the the body the comments of this video so that you can see that other one if you're curious uh, so there we go there we go um, so this is the mother load and this is big wow all right and then the uh the, i got this earlier so it was sitting here waiting i have a little knot diagram with the different knots that i i want to get in gradually and then the handles that i like to match them up with so let's open the other guy, which by default, by process of elimination, has to be the super high density Manchuria finest two band badger. And it as well is a 24 millimeter. In retrospect, I now realize I probably should have ordered their 26, although maybe it wasn't in stock at the time. Who knows why I ordered this? But I think people were saying they were finding some inconsistencies with this glue area here. And so if you have a, let's say, I think this hand, this hole was 27 millimeters in inside diameter. And so if I ordered a 26 millimeter knot, then sometimes if there was a little variation in the glue disc here, it may not have fit in. And so just to be safe, I ordered the 24. It'll probably end up to be fine. Uh, but the good news is again, if I put it in and it feels a little sparse, I can just order the 26, wait another month and a half or so. Maybe it'll be quicker if COVID is done by then. But, uh, but then just yank the, yank, use the silicone, yank it out, and replace the knot. Now, so this is, I did measure this disc, and it pretty much is 24. And so there is some play in there, but I think it'll really be just fine. I think I will be putting a spacer, because you can see it goes in and kind of touches but then I, I can push it in maybe another two or three millimeters. And so I think one uh, with these kind of two bands, they usually are pretty firm. And so I like to mount them almost as high as I can because I like a more relaxed feel. And you can see kind of a square shape because it was in a square box, but I am certain that is just gonna work its way out as you use it a few times. So this is, and again, the box did not contain any kind of labeling as far as what knot you have. So uh, you'll definitely want to look at your order. Matter of fact, the box didn't even come with a printed copy of the invoice or order or anything like that. So make sure you have your records handy if you need to know which knot is which. And um, so it looks good. 
Looks like a nice two band. Uh, I can probably expect a little shedding. It does feel very firm uh, right now, but of course the water can always remedy that as you use it a few times. So that's another reason I'm going to mount this guy high. But at the 2019 meetup in Greensboro, uh, Wolf Whiskers did a, uh, yeah, 2019 is labeled there, Carolina meetup. Yeah, this was the handle. And it feels really good. It's kind of short, but this little saddle, this little valley here is, seems to be just in the right place and the right size for my fingers. And I'm really excited to try it out. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful design, beautiful color with the blues. And so this has been sitting on my desk waiting for a knot. And this could very well be a knot that, that I enjoy having with it. So that is what uh, a brush knots look like if you order them from Uomo. So you've got synthetics, here's the mother load, and then the uh, two band badger, super high density two band badger, and they're both 24 millimeters. And so you can see how the size of the body here of the brush is different between the two after they've been shipped in exactly the same box because synthetics just bounce back and have their own uh, bent. And, uh, and this is definitely gonna fan over and expand as you use it for the first few times. So look forward to trying these out. Unfortunately, I'm in austere August right now, and so I can't use either of these except in test lathers um, or on the side. So, but that's got, that gives me plenty of time to get these knots mounted up in the handles and um, have that glue, have the silicone set. I like to let it set for three days. And uh, uh, yo, you can also go to sugardaddyshaves.com. I've got a page there with my brush knot setting video and then written instructions as well. That's probably the best place to go to um, uh, for reference there. So very cool. That's just an unbo unboxing of what you get when you order knots from uh, Uomo. Omo brush, Umo brush, we'll say. They do sell brushes already made um, where they will glue the brushes up for you. Um, so that's possible as well. All right, there we go. Hope this has been a good video for you. Uh, you guys take care.